to my channel to my youtube family thank you for coming back and to anybody new thank you for clicking on this video as well and i hope you stick around it has been three months y'all three months since i've been on my youtube journey so by the title of this video you know that this is a question and answer type video get to know me who i am what I do, what I'm about. I'm about to let y'all know. I'm about to let y'all in a little more about who Mika is. So I've been in these YouTube streets for three months now and I'm like, let me do a Q&A to like, you know, for y'all to get to know me, to celebrate my three month anniversary. What better way? So yeah, I got my questions on my phone. I, oh, excuse me. I reached out, <clears throat> excuse me. So I have the questions on my phone and on my Facebook and Instagram, like I basically put up a poll and I said, ask me a question. And I got some questions. So I got some questions asked for me and I'm also gonna be asking questions like, just random questions like to get to know me type like I was just watching other people's YouTubes and basically just pulling questions from them. So yeah, I got my little list right here and I'm about to answer some questions y'all. Let's get, let's get it. Let's see how juicy these questions are. And of course I'm going to be drinking my little drink. This is Ciroc Mango with the um, Simply Simply Shiree Lemonade, I want to say. And of course, the Splash of Grenadine. Keep it cute. Keep it cute. But yeah, y'all. Let's get into these questions. So yeah, I'm going to start this Q&A off by just answering some basic questions that I feel like anybody would ask. So I'm just going to let y'all know up front. My name is Tamika, also known as Mika, Meek Mills, Mango. I got a lot of nicknames. It's just depending on how I met you or how I know you, honestly. But nobody really calls me Tamika. Um, okay. Stop that. People at work call me Tamika. That's my name at work. Um, if we would get cool, then people call me Mika, Meek Meek, or like, you know, something like that. But if you call me Tamika, I know you're from work. <laughs> but yeah, besides that, I am 36 years old. And um, what's another basic question? Ooh, already I'm stumbling. So I'm from Boston, Mass, born and raised. And I've been down here in Florida for the past five years. Yeah. That's a broad, like, Q&A, know who I am type. Pin it. But yeah, let's get to these questions, y'all. <laughs> All right, so the first question, my favorite food, y'all. The way to my heart is food, and I like American food. I'll tell you guys, like, my top three foods. Fried chicken. My mother's lasagna. No, I like spaghetti a lot. Like my co-mommy's edition of spaghetti though. Adding a little sugar. Sugar, sugar. <laughs> but yeah, I would say that's my top three foods. Um, yeah, fried chicken from my dad, lasagna from my mom, and spaghetti from my co-mommy. <laughs> Yo, my parents can cook. Listen. Um, my favorite artist. So, I don't have just one favorite artist. I have a couple. I would say um, Mary J. Blige, definitely number one. Um, and then Cardi B. That's my girl. Favorite brand. Exalt Styling. Duh. Nah, but of course, like, Exalt Silent is my brand, so, of course, it's my favorite. Like, that's my baby. Like, 
we just starting, but we about to grow. We going, we going places. Just keep my name in your mind. Exalt Styling. That's my favorite brand. Um, if I could live anywhere, where would I live? Um, if I could live anywhere, I think I would live in Jamaica. Like, Jamaica is so cool and just, like, calm and, like, that whole, like, yeah, man, they're serious. Like, yeah, man, not a worry, not a problem. Like, there's, there's no worries, there's no problems. People don't move with a sense of urgency there. Like, it's just beautiful there. But, you know, of course, with the resources and the money, what I'm used to in America. But if they had what they had here in America and Jamaica, <laughs> I would live in Jamaica. But I like Jamaica. Um, what celebrity would I collaborate with? Tiana Taylor. She's bad. She's bad, bad. Like... I would collaborate with her um, because I like the way she moves as far as like dancing and stuff like that. Um, and also her style and fashion, like she's different. Like if I could somehow have her um, be like a brand ambassador for my brand, I would. Who influenced me um, and what exactly? Um, yeah. And what exactly? Because I have a lot of influencers. Like, growing up, I looked up to Komori Lee Simmons. And as I got older, I looked up to just my parents, honestly. Like, I'm the oldest of all my siblings. And, like, I saw a lot. And, like, what they went through and to see where we're at now. Like, they are my true heroes, like, to this day. So, yeah. I I I want to be just as successful as my parents or even more. Um has a celebrity inboxed me? No. But if Quincy and or Chris Brown, y'all want to hop in my DM, it's Mika Exalt Jones. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think they are so cute. Quincy, um Quincy I'm talking about um, Puff Daddy. Ooh, well, it's technically I'll be sure, son. But yeah, Quincy, he can hop in my inbox and so can Chris Brown. They can slide on in. Um, my zodiac sign. I am a Scorpio. All right, y'all. The next question. It was time for a sip. But the next question is my love life. Oh. Um. I'm sorry. Excuse me. My love life is exactly that. My love life. <laughs> my biggest regret. My biggest regret is quitting. I don't want to say I quit. Because. I mean I've still been paying like monthly subscriptions and stuff like that for my business. But. My biggest regret would be walking away from my business, general, like, period. I walked away because I was going through a lot in my life during that time, and I wish I would have kept going. But every regret is a lesson, so I don't want to say I regret it too much because it definitely taught me more than what I didn't know. But, yeah, that would be my regret, my biggest. Of course, I have others, like, talking to fuckboys who didn't deserve my time and attention but that's a whole nother story um when will i see you sir you will see me when you put that time in to see me pet peeve oh i have a lot of pet peeves <laughs> but my biggest okay so off the top of my head my two pet peeves are when people, like, the top lid to the toilet seat, when you leave that up, I prefer for it to be down. Like, I don't like when I walk in somewhere and that top lid is up. I want it to be down. I don't want to walk into the bathroom and be able to look into the toilet. That's one of my pet peeves. My other pet peeve is dirty nails. Like, I don't care if you have your nails done. I'm not big on that. 
Um, okay. <laughs> Y'all, I am so, so sorry for the way that I ended this video. I had no clue. Like, Tamika, what was you thinking? I, I'm so, so sorry. There will definitely be a part two for this Q&A. And this might be the quickest Q&A ever. But y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do that. And give me a thumbs up. Support your girl. Love y'all. Until next time. It's not that I don't